Hi, you're watching Virtually BGCMC. I'm Mr. Jonathan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a few drills that you could use for a shooting warm-up, and it'll also help you improve your shooting skills. Check this out. One of the most important things that, in my opinion, to shoot a jump shot is to have a good base. So you should at least have your feet shoulder width apart, meaning that your feet would be right underneath your shoulders, at least. For me personally, I actually like to have a wider base when I shoot, so I'll put my feet a little bit wider apart. But some people are more comfortable a little closer together. Just as long as your feet are not too close together like this, uh, because when that happens, you're not going to be able to have good balance and support when you shoot your jump shot. So the next tip I want to give you on shooting a jump shot is your arm and hand placement. So a good rule of thumb is to have your elbow bent at 90 degrees. Some players like to have it bent a little bit more than that, but as long as you have at least 90 and not too much, then you'll have enough power in your arms to get a good shot. Also, you want to use your wrist when you're holding the ball bent back in a loaded position. So that way, when you go up for the jump shot, you don't waste time loading it and you could have a nice quick jump shot. Last thing, you also want to make sure when you're shooting a jump shot, you have a nice follow through. What that means is when you release the ball, you want to snap your wrist and get your arm straight. And you could also, I've heard this a lot when I was a kid, picture yourself dipping your hand into the cookie jar, the cookie jar being the hoop. So it looks something like this. So with keeping that in mind, everything in one fluid motion, you can shoot your jump shots from this spot. Nice and smooth. Don't worry about misses. Misses happen all the time. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start right in front of the hoop. And all we're going to practice and focus on is that hand position and release that I was talking about. So you're not going to use any part of your body, but it's okay because you're close enough to shoot at the hoop with only your arms. And you want to make sure you get a nice, clean follow through and good position with your arms going from here, loaded position, all the way up and shooting. Okay? So for the drill or for your warm up, what I suggest is shooting 10 from here, right up close. And then the next step is gonna be, you're gonna shoot 10 more, but you're gonna move back to the next hash mark on the key. And this time we're gonna start incorporating our legs and our feet. So remember how I was talking about having a good base. Well, when you get further back, if you want more power in your shot, you're gonna need that good base so you could explode. So in the next level back, what we're gonna do is the same jump shot and focus on that nice release, but we're also gonna add another element and that's using your feet to get a little bit of bounce behind you, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. So if you do 10 from here, the next step would be to do 10 more shots at the next hash mark. And we're also gonna add another element this time, and that's gonna be using more of your legs and getting a nice, clean, smooth jump shot. So that's a simple shooting drill that you could incorporate into your warm-up. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time.